I'm too lazy to write project. YouTubers, this is Fred Ranger, fredranger.com or dot com, uh, whatever. Um, today I wanted to talk about uh, two things. Well, first of all, um, travel photography, which is uh, something that I am starting to to learn, and also really excited to um, actually practice it right next weekend. Uh, going to Italy for two weeks. Can't wait. Um, I'm, I'm also planning on on gaining. 10 to 15 pounds, uh, but that's another story. Um, yeah, so basically, um, when it comes to travel photography, the first thing you need to decide on is uh, which bag you're gonna take to carry your gear around and which gear you're gonna take uh, with you, uh, what gear you're gonna take with you. So, a um, couple of options here. So, I first thought about bringing the good old Low Pro Slingshot, I think it's a 200. It is a 200. Yeah, so uh, the slingshot, which is really convenient because you know what, it's a one strap camera bag that you put in the back, well, that you put on and that you can access your gear really easily by just swing it in front of uh, a view and just uh, access your camera really uh, easily and, and, and fast. But at the same time, um, it also screams, uh, I, have a, I have a DSLR in my, uh, in my back, so you can steal my stuff uh, easily also. So I'm not sure that I'm gonna be taking that one. Um, also another option that I had was another low pro bag, which is the, um, I don't even know what this is. I don't have the model, but uh, you know what? This is the full fledged uh, camera bag where you can store all your gear uh, in it. But uh, you, you know what, I mean, this is really heavy. So I really don't want to carry this around, um, and uh, at the end of the day, I don't want to carry all my gear uh, with me. So I uh, decided not to go with that bag. This is really a good uh, on-location bag when you want to do like a, a setup somewhere and bring all your gear uh, in one bag. So what I decided to do is to bring this little baby here, uh, my new Think Tank photo bag, uh, it's called the Urban Disc Geese uh, 50 version 2, version 2, right, so yeah, version 2, um, and it's a really, really convenient bag, uh, it's a shoulder bag with one strap over here, uh, which feel really uh, comfortable and it's really like uh, not super heavy when you have it on your shoulder, so I really like uh, Think, Tank, Think Tank products. Um, why I decided to go with that one? With this one, well, two reasons. First of all, it doesn't really scream. I have a f I have a DSLR in my bag. Uh, it could be any other briefcase bag, you know. Uh, doesn't necessarily look like a DSLR bag. Uh, secondly, uh, it, it's it's for the, the um, actually the way it's built. Uh, really nice uh, place to put uh, your computer, um, your obviously your DSLR, DSLR, your lens, and all your the other stuff you want to carry around. So let's jump in and see what's in my bag, actually, for that uh, Italian trip next weekend. So if I open the back compartment over here, you will find the iPad 2. So I'll do another video about uh, why I love this little gadget for photography. Not only for photography, but specifically on this blog for photography. Um, it'll come maybe after the, uh, the trip to Italy, but you know what, this is uh, a must-have when you when you're traveling, and you know what, it fits perfectly in the Urban Disc Keys uh, 50 version too, right there. So you know, I don't have to carry around my MacBook Pro anymore. Everything is in there. So that's the first thing I'm carrying around um, over here. So there's even room to, like to put other stuff over here. GPS, you know, when traveling to uh, Europe might be useful because we're renting we are renting a car too. So might come handy. So that's the GPS. Uh, the main compartment over here, you will find, um, first of all, the main body. So a D700, Icon D700, my workhorse. So um, with a 24 to 70 um, micro lens on it, uh, 2.8. So that, that will come really handy because I'm not bringing a flash. Uh, also, I decided to not uh, bring a flash. 
uh, because I really want to use the low light um, capabilities of this uh, lens um, on location. So really looking forward to try that on site uh, to take shot of uh, the wonderful Florence, uh, uh, Venice, um, Siena. Anyways, so uh, I I'm traveling around uh, in Tuscany, so I'll have plenty of uh, good photo opportunities. So uh, the D700 fits perfectly in uh, the Urban Disquise. So we'll just put it here. Also bringing my uh, 50 mil. Um, this is really a must-have lens in your bag. Uh, it's so cheap. I think it's it, it's you can buy it for 135 bucks online or at your uh, camera store. Uh, and it's 1.8, so it's giving me an extra uh, couple of uh, uh, stops there to to play with in low light situation. And, and 50 mil on a um, full frame body like the 700 is perfect. So uh, really a must-have lens. Uh, also bringing, and I thought about not bringing it because it's so heavy, but you know what, I don't want to be in Europe, in, in Italy, Italy and, and ask myself why the hell did I not bring this little baby over here. So uh, I'm bringing the 70 to 200, 2.8 uh, to take some crazy portrait shots uh, in Italy. So um, you know what, and, and, and again it fits just perfectly if I show you that. Boom, Let's put it here and the case is closed, you just bring this lens. It's so sharp and so good that you can't not bring it. Not not bring it. Um, so that's it for the, the lens. And I mean, I, w I would have loved to have a wide angle, but I think with 24 on a full frame body, body uh, I'll be able to take some, uh, some wide uh, shots. So um, we'll see. Um, obviously the little rocket blower to get the lens as clean as they could be. So that's it for the main compartment. And if you look at the front over here, you will find flashlight. You never know, right? When you're gonna need a flashlight. A <laughs> uh, couple of cables if I wanna see the photos on, on the TV at the hotel room. Um, obviously, um, camera, uh, well, a, a card reader to transfer the photos to the iPad or wherever I want to transfer them. A couple of cables, charger I'm bringing, two batteries also, you never know. Cleaning stuff, uh, microfiber cloth, really useful. A brush for the lens also. And that's about it. I think that's about it. Yeah, but you know what? Just to show you how this bag is configured, I just want to show you something over here. It has a really nice extra uh, space where you can put some extra lenses. Uh, here I have my uh, cards, my memory cards. So I have uh, two 8 gigabytes and one 4 gigabytes um, compact flash card. I think this will be enough. If not, I'll just buy some in Italy. So that's uh, that's about it. Actually, I really really like that bag. I really like uh, the fact that also you can put it on your uh, your case when you're traveling. You just put that in, and it fits perfectly on uh, your luggage when you're when you're traveling. So that's cool. A little place to put the business cards. Uh, there's also a an extra uh, pouch over here where you can put stuff. And even if you want to wear it as a backpack, uh, there's also some um, anchors over here where you can just put uh, some straps and wear it as a uh, backpack. I don't have those. I don't think I'll, I'll be using it as a backpack. So, um, so yeah, basically that's the Urban Disguis 50 version 2 that I'll be using in Italy uh, in the next couple of weeks. And uh, I'll let you know how it, how it turn, I'll let you know how it turns out, and if I uh, enjoy my experience. But right now, I think this is the best bet. Um, what do you think? I mean, what are you using to um, to travel? Are you using a backpack? Are you using uh, a big lower pro like this one or a slingshot? I want to know about it. So tell me down there on the blog or on the YouTube channel. Um, what are your tips uh, for travel photography? So hope you're enjoying, and hope that helps. Thanks. Oh yeah.